insane. Yeah, Macho gonna stay on here. We're actually gonna move directly into our top eight. So winner semis on the first side. Gonna be Macho against T-Swag. T-Swag has been having some really good placings recently. Absolutely. Uh, you know, but he hasn't really like taken down. He has he has put DPS into losers once. Uh, but other than that, you know, hasn't really like kind of hit the home run yeah. that he's, he needs. Yeah, he's sat in grand finals a couple of times. You know, definitely like been in that hot seat. But you know, just just I know I know he's training a lot. You know, he talks a lot about how like he's playing online. Yeah, and I mean, this is a, a former top eight qualifier in KI. Right? KI this yeah. is a good fighting game player. If he puts in the time in the upper, he can definitely you know, continually approve with this game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And here it is already, just playing a little bit more patient. Gets the okay. cross-up, gets the burst out. Macho, known for his early burst, trying to maintain momentum at all costs. Okay, nice. Oh, T-Swag recognizing the oppose and jump, double jumps out of that position, but now he's into the corner. Keeps that defense going. Yeah, the, oh, oh no, and the burst bait. Insane. We were talking about Macho's ability to burst bait, but let's talk about T-Swag's defense right now. Just constant, like, Getting out of that pressure. Yeah, good recognition. Macho was out of Eddie meter, so he had to run in and do something to reset the pressure. Went for the command grab. Oh, oppose. Just like shaking his head, he's just like, I should have known there's going to be some goonery coming out right there. But here he goes. It's just really difficult for a player like him to be as aggressive as he wants, you know, and what an oppose retaliation. Yeah, I would like to see T-Swag maybe look out for the oppose a little bit more in neutral yeah. and get the run-up grab. Giovanna definitely has the moment, uh, the mobility to get that run-up grab punish on oppose, but you got to stop swinging into it first. Yeah, he's definitely, like, he's, he's able to defend super well in the corner, but he's still not, like able to fight his way out of it. You know, it's it's one thing to be able to defend, but like he just cracks your dome once or gets you in a throw once and it's just a super over from there. Quick win from Macho. And I mean, it's, it's this is a this is a very, very difficult matchup for T-Swag personally, just because of how aggressive he is innately. Oh, great 6B, good reaction to trying to steal the turn with the spiral arrow there. Oof, caught with the overhead. Oh, yeah, no. It's definitely a macho specialty, right? Getting that full charge dust punish on every burst that he baits in neutral, but overextended on the command grab. t swag jumped away though, so not able to get the punish. And again, scouting these cross-ups with the air grab. Yeah, it's definitely on point with those. Kind of just reading the wear that t swag wants to do it out of the screen. This is definitely somebody who, you know, is in your head in all ways. Clear point, he's a mind reader. Okay, he's calling Eddie back, playing that mid-screen. There it is, command grab. Yeah, he's like definitely a oh, full opposed wow, with the punish. Okay, finds the grab, yeah. Macho had committed to the, the whatever the fireball, the pine cone is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and was not able to actually get the punish after a pose uh, absorbed the far slash. Throw. Looking that dangerous for him now. Oh, no, uh, rude. Has the meter, this should be it. That's yep. definitely it. All right, GG's. Man, yep. He just did not like how he got thrown twice in a row. But, you know, he's like still around. You know, he'll be down in their losers. Who knows, he might make it all the way up to grand finals from that side. Uh, super practiced and successful player, like we said. But I think that that's a, that's a difficult one. You know, just with how how many elements Macho was able to put out on screen and just how he's able to stuff his defense in a lot of different ways. Like he tried that close slash, um, tried to go for the cross up and then it got yeah. stuffed almost every time. Like he did it the first time in the beginning, it got burst and it was never able I'm to- I'm not gonna lie, it. I didn't know you could like sneak an air grab in there. I'm gonna try to start doing that. I'm probably gonna get counter hit like a million times trying it, but. Yeah, but you know, it's 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 a definitely a good tool to have. Like Giovanna, I mean- Yeah, and you know, if you are T-Swag, your answer there is you have to start throwing in some delay to 2S pressure, right? See if you're catching him. See if he's jumping as a read. Yeah. If he's holding up back, looking for it, and going for the air grab, or if he's reacting to it, I think that would be the next layer that T-Swag needs to look for, is start adding those staggered lows, start catching the jump out, yeah. start doing something to fake the the air dash, you know, come yeah. up with some options you to-, need to play, play her longer ranges more, I would want to say that she's got to do, because more or less like, Giovanna's longer range options, like her 2D, like very, very much at the tip, uh, spiral arrow, just kind of like full send it, can armor through a lot of what Eddie is Yeah, but Macho was ready out. for that too, right? Had the 6P on deck, like, 
you know, sometimes you can be doing well and the, the other person is just really good and they outplay you. Like. It's true. Doing it from a string, it's definitely like, okay, what else is she going to do? I can kind of buffer 6P and it beats most of her good options, right? It's going to beat 2 and 4S. It's going to beat Spiral Arrow. Might as well just do it. And unless you're able to, like, scare them into that frame trap situation, which t Swag was not quite able to do, um, Macho just had no fear in just being able to throw it out. So if he's able to, if he's able to build that kind of space, if he's able to like scare him a little bit with those longer distance options, then uh, I think that he could be able to like have some success in scaring Macho from pressing buttons at that range. Yeah. But uh, Jolly, see? Jolly, spilling beer everywhere. I see him walking through the venue. Looks like Jolly wants in. You want in? Hello, hello, hello. So you're pouring one out for the homies in the crowd, <laughs> you know. Now you have uh, two Kai players on the mic. Yeah, it's going to get real dry. It's going to get real dry. Nothing happens till someone has meter. And watch your toes. I yeah. just like stun dippering from, uh, you know, mid-screen or whatever. That's Canceling an RC. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a nice afternoon. Sometimes yeah. dipper RC is just a casual... Yeah. thing to do in neutral that that is <laughs> you know the, the real explanation right is like when kai does not have meter he's okay in neutral yep. when kai has meter he's not good at neutral he yep. stops playing it yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's there's no need uh, the time for neutral has passed yep it is time to hit you in the toes whenever i uh whenever i have meter it's just like all right all rc in neutral whatever uh, I don't really care about it anymore. But yeah, hello. I uh, also commentate this game as well, sometimes. Um, but yeah, we've seen some uh, great matches tonight. We have Blooming Lotus coming up against Zack in the Box. A really, really good matchup here. Um, yeah, Zack in the Box, uh, also in Street Fighter V. I yep. believe he just played the, the Loser Semis, so. Yep. Uh, you know, jumping between games, Blooming Lotus himself actually been playing Street Fighter V yeah. Recently as well, and now you know coming back in a stride, being well-rounded in the games that he plays. Mm -hmm. Kind of branching out from a lot of the games that he usually plays. You know, we definitely see him as Uni, of course. A lot of people seen him uh, play Uni. Uh, but yeah, branching out into Street Fighter, branching out into Guilty Gear as well. Um, seen him play time and time again. Uh, Zach kind of switching from Zato okay, into. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we have character changes on both sides. Yep. Blooming Lotus did play Milia earlier in the bracket. Mm -hmm. I had mentioned that he had been on Eno previously, and it looks like for this Leo matchup against Ox, uh, against Zach, gonna go with the Eno. Yep. Nice. Go for the knowledge the check against yeah, Zach. Really nice. <laughs> yeah, Zach is kind of going for the stampede there. I think Zach kind of said, uh, yeah, I played Zato, not really my style, played against Macho a good amount, uh, just went to Leo, just having a lot more uh, enjoyable time, I guess, with Leo. Oh, that's a big bait? Wow, yeah, yeah nice bait. Zach oh, holding on to his burst. RC there, yeah, gonna get the wall break. Not gonna kill yet. Wow. Oh, I genuinely don't know if that was on purpose or not. Yeah. <laughs> it still looks cool. I don't know if Stroke was supposed <laughs> to combo and didn't. Yeah. Looks like he should have comboed. Oh. Yeah, I think. He there. Yeah, I think. I was gonna say he wasn't reacting to Stroke earlier. Uh, I think he tried to grab that one, but did it too far. Yep. Nice. Put him in the corner. Yeah. Wake up back throw. Got the back turn. Keep moving low to the corner. Whoa, nice. Nice. But the yeah, recognition of the stroke that. through the fireball. No bite on the parry. Yeah. Nice jab. Out of the air. Zach still getting that DP. Yeah, Zach this time in the Oki. Anyone's round right now. Yep. Going for the RC. And on the other side. Not going to pick it up. That's an unfortunate drop. Good tech. Yeah, nice tech in the air. And able to get the mix up the low. Yeah, got the mix up on the uh, the cross turn there. Yeah, really nice. Both of them have a round up. Both here. of them being really stingy with their burst so far in this game as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, <laughs> we haven't even seen a burst for this entire game. 
Zach right now, though, kind of get opened up by the stroke pressure. There's the flash kick. An immediate offensive burst. Put him right back in the corner. Yep. Gonna get the wall break here. Yep. Use the super as well. Zach near his first meter. Nice gold burst. Gets both meters there. Red RC pushing him towards the corner. Oh no! Really nice counter hit. YRC? Yeah. Nice, YRC. nice block there from Blooming Lotus. Ooh, the frame traps. Minus. <laughs> minus frame Zinda and Volm. The classic. Oh, oh no. no! Zach bet it though. Blooming Lotus with yep. the patience. I think Zach tried to call out something from Blooming Lotus and uh, yeah. Unfortunately, getting punished there from that big DP. Kind of bet the bet the farm there and turn out Blooming Lotus' favor. Nice. I think that would have worked if Zach would not have previously shown the minus frames yeah. in the flash kick. Yep. Yeah, Zach still having a hard time with the stroke pressure here. One hit away. Yeah, got under the HCL though. Nice. Red RC on the other side. Nice, uh, BRC. Yeah, it will slow BRC. it down. Gets the punish BRC on the pass throw, through. Yeah. Blooming Lotus one round away here from uh, uh, taking the winner's MRS. Yeah, jab going low. Got the trade. Trying to get out of the corner. Wow. Yeah, I think Zach tried to get a little jab interrupt there, but it didn't work out at all. This is gonna work out though. Oh! Yeah, gonna have to send the burst there. Setting up the node. Uh -oh. oh no! Okay, gold burst. This is yep. gonna be a big turnaround. Yeah, really nice gold burst there. Oh, got the PRC! Oh, he had the meter to finish, yeah. but able to recollect the hit. Kind of seeing a lot of that uh, that side switch from Zach, kind of going on to the yeah. other side, not really getting too much from it. But yeah. yeah, interesting why he's giving up the corner pretty frequently there. Too far to go through the projectile. Yep. It was a good reaction to the move. It's just a little out of range for it to get back. A little bit, yeah. Zach kind of taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, this is looking rough. Yep. Booming Lotus, big life lead, gonna have positive bonus here. Zach does have meter, but not a lot he else. Does, yes, no if burst anything, for either. Zach just needs to slow down until he gets his burst back. He's almost there, gets the overhead. Oh, the overhead. Has Side to respect overhead. the meter. The super is there. You know, with some of the best supers. And that's gonna yeah, do it. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Nice stuff there from Blooming Lotus. Yeah, it kind of uh, uh, seeing a lot of the situational stuff that Zach was kind of going for. Uh, was blocking at the right moments when Zach was going for the, the, the side switch. Um, did get hit by a couple of the overheads there, but in the end, Blooming Lotus, great kind of uh, close out there. 2-0 over Zach in the box. Uh, Zach still has his way through loser's bracket, but uh, yeah, really, really great showing from uh, Blooming Lotus. Yeah, Zach, uh, you know, still maybe some growing pains on learning the new characters. A yep. couple spots where he is a little stingy with his meter, right? Like could spend mm -hmm. a super to close out or something. Blooming Lotus, for his part, was also kind of stingy with his meter, but yes. he didn't show the wake up super until the last sequence, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't mash out super really at any point yeah. until he really needed it. So ended up being an effective strategy to wait that out. Oh yeah, especially during that first game, you know, like I think we said, you know, we didn't see any burst in the first game, any wake up super in the first game. Kind of uh, uh, a little bit of a defensive play style there, but you know, during that second game, Blooming Low just kind of getting that offensive movement going, getting that momentum, and was able to take it two over Zach. And now we have Alpaca versus Mob. Yeah, I think I uh, haven't seen Alpaca in a, in a moment. Yeah, it's uh, good to see him out and uh, good to see him back playing against him. Uh, so yeah, we bars, played yeah. Uh, earlier in the bracket, and it was the oh, first okay. time I've played him in a game since, like, season two or three of Street Fighter V, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> really, really Same thing with Joker. Actually, yeah, 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 it was yeah. with Joker now, too. I haven't yeah. played either of them since, like, season three of Street Fighter V. Which is so crazy. I, I can't even, like, begin to think about that. But, yeah. Uh, Mop versus Alpaca. Uh, we have... Uh, Milia. Milia. Mm -hmm. Dual one. Let's rock. Okay, back Bob dash taking here. it to the air right away. Yeah. 
The air, though, is yeah able to get the, the slash there, but being in the air, pretty scary against Anji Ko. Yeah. I mean, you guys saw me get smoked with it, right? Uh, Milia does have better air mobility and tools than a lot of characters, but a lot of times, if you have the space right, you know, Anji doesn't care. He just has one of the best anti-airs in the game. He really does, and I think after a lot of the patches and everything, he definitely has one of the better anti-airs in this game for sure. But uh, Alpaca not having a good time against MOP's Milia here. Oh, nice. Yeah, the double jump, putting him in the corner. Like, what side am I going to be on? Nice, good check. Oh, yeah. yeah. Needed to delay the 2D just a tiny bit more, but really good check for Mop off the, off the bat. Yep. Early in the Fujin pressure. Good patience. Waited out the low. Has the corner switch. Yeah, really nice block in the cross up here. No cancel either. Oh, great job going up and getting Apaka out of the Didn't air. Didn't get the, the wall break, unfortunately, but uh, still a great life lead here from Alpaca. Apaka just showed the ultimate anti-air tech. He did Ko, it whipped, he PRC'd, <laughs> yeah. and then he landed and did Ko again. <laughs> he did it again! Oh, counter hit on the anti-air. Yeah, 6P, no sludge as well. You know, yeah. we're talking up Ko, but 6P, also a good anti-air option. He's gonna spend Winger yeah, here, I like it. I don't nice. think this is gonna kill, but nope. this is gonna be worth the plus frames as Milia. Yeah, Alpaca's nearly near a uh, meter here. Oh, I, I think hit. Mop was respecting the, the yeah. parry super as well. That's why he didn't go in too hard after the wall break mm -hmm. there. Mop kind of not too much struggling against this matchup, but kind of still showing a lot of knowledge he has against Alangi. Um, uh, oh, still getting hit by the cross up, however, as soon as I speak about it. What a combo from Alpaca, taking a good chunk of life here away from Dilia. Nice. Wow, 5P as well? This man has <laughs> anti just bag spilling over oh, a vampire. Oh, what a counter hit. Going for the grab, too. Nice setup. Just going to jump out. Still got caught out of the air. I wish my close slash did 17 <laughs> things. <laughs> That is, it's like Rose Stand Medium Kick in Street Fighter yeah. 4. Like, one button option select. <laughs> so Whoa, nice! Wow, yo. that was so sick! Look left, look right, make sure both sides of the street are safe, finish the combo. Didn't get hit by the butterfly, but still, Alpaca able to close out that first round. That was so sick, that fast RC there. Nice grab, throwing, setting up the butterfly. Nice jump out from yeah, the J Yeah. Even with all those quality anti-airs, yep. JH out of Milia, very good air normal. Good patience. He gets out, but that's fine. Oh, he's able to get out. Honestly, the threat of that meter being gone if you're a pocket, that's oh great. Oh yeah. my god, what a RC full to guarantee the wall break. That was a full combo mid-air from Milia into a wall break. That was insane. That's also known as a regular Milia air combo. <laughs> Oh, oh, the no. mixies, but he dropped it and gets Oh my god, he got the wake up throw, yeah. Oh, got the overhead. Oh no, not like this. Oh, oh not like the this. The messies, the guessies oh. were too messy. Yeah. Apaka gonna even things up. Rough break for Mop there. Yeah, a little bit of a rough break. 1-1 one, one for both these players. Still in top eight losers. However, uh, both, these are, both these players looking pretty even here. Nice run up throw. Milia special, throw up the, the ring. Went low, yeah, gonna burst early in the round here. Pierre seed a little fast. I think wanted to get the ring out first. But yeah, really nice grab on the landing frames there. Yeah, gonna use his burst as well. Good check with the jump slash there, though. Back dash, getting some space. Fujin got him, caught him out of the air. Full conversion here. Oh, the confident walk up grab. <laughs> yeah. Walk up you don't throw. see Nelia walk in general I very know. often. She's usually oh, the air back grabs. Oh. Turning the tide here. Oh, again. The <laughs> run up grab. Oh, oh, we yeah. didn't see any. Uh, I would have liked to see an RC yeah, on that throw we'll combo. An RC there. Yeah, Apaka, you know, maybe kind of just autopiloting his uh, his post throw pressure there. Yep. He had a hundred meter on deck. He could have RC'd into the rest of the combo. He got did, the super. Yeah. No, uh, no meter there. Carrying over to the next round too. I think that might have been a little bit of a slip up for Malpaka then. Though he still gets the uh, MLP into the corner. Mop into the corner. 
Changing again. Oh, counter hit air to air. Not gonna get much from Alpaca's end. But Alpaca seems to have found the anti-airs. Trying to jump first. out though, caught with the 2S. Oh, got the tip of the ring, and that's a full conversion for Mop. All right, Mop needs this to finish the set. Alpaca yep. needs it to stay alive in it. Mm -hmm. Alpaca has the meter. He does, yeah, he's got one RC here, yes. Okay, yep, smart of him not to spend that meter. Gonna block, Mixed. no! Yeah, that's gonna do it. GG's, Mop GGs, moving yeah. on. In top eight losers, mm -hmm. Alpaca 21 going to be out at seventh place tonight. Yep. Wins. Yeah, Alpaca, I think, uh, you know, showing some good stuff there, especially in this matchup. But at the same time, I think uh, had some opportunities to RC and just didn't take those opportunities at all. Yeah, really great stuff. Um, uh, thanks to both players, but yeah, Mop gonna move on against T Swag, and then we have Yami versus Elven Shadow up next on stream. Uh, of course, Elven Shadow running with the Faust, and, uh, going up against Yami, and the winner of this is gonna go against Zach in the box, who's probably still sticking with Leo, of course. Um, yeah, uh, for, uh, it yeah. seems like that's his character now. I don't, yep. I don't see any specific changes coming no. out of Zach. I really don't see him going back to, uh, to Zato mm -hmm. uh, as much as he's played against Macho, as much as he's had that matchup knowledge and everything. Learning the character, I think, yeah. <laughs> with the stuff I've talked to him about, he's like, yeah, I think Leo is just the character for me right now. Um, definitely in the current state of the game as well. Yeah, I think um, a lot of people after yeah. the, the last patch, I mean, are pretty, you know, they definitely feel that Leo eclipsed Soul in terms of being the best character. Yeah. Oh, I think they went in too early before uh, oh, Yami was able early? to get oh, the... Okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, we're going to see another <laughs> another Aji here, but nope. Okay. Setting some buttons here, but yeah, great turnout here for, uh, for some Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. Playing with some Chicago locals and everything. We also had uh, Street Fighter Five tonight, and well uh, Tekken some, Seven. Uh, yeah. Tekken Seven. Yeah. Well-rounded night. Of course, uh, you can check out Low Kick Esports on Twitter. They did post the November schedule. Yep. Uh, next week, I do. I hopefully we can get the local Dragon Ball players to make yes. it out. Uh, I, I have not streamed Dragon Ball Fighters in a long time, actually, yep. and I've been watching since Season Ooh, Three drop, and the game looks sick right now. It like really season does. Three of Dragon Ball looks <laughs> yeah. dope. So excited to check that out. But Yami Kai player, I think we're gonna have some biased commentary. Yes, <laughs> biased commentary. Let's go, Yami. Yeah, and this is a match that <laughs> I've played a lot tonight. Actually, I played Casuals against Elven Shadow before the tournament. And uh, played Joker not in tournament, and Yami with a pretty good start right now. Yeah, I, yeah one thing for sure is Elven Shadow will never fail to take his turn yes. after two and four K. If you do a yep. Fodor arc and it's his turn, he's gonna take it. And similarly, he's going to punish Dipper very consistently. <laughs> yeah. Every time I've seen Elven Shadow play, especially oh, there's the time matchup. Oh, the meaty there. And the drill, yeah. Got the drill. Yeah, I was saying, every time I've seen Elven Shadow playing against the Kai, always taking his turn every single time. Yeah. Not wasting oh, any Oh, God, and the RNG is blessed right now. Another oh Meteor. And Yami, uh, gonna have to key on that. Uh, when you're playing against Elven Shadow, you have to respect drill. You gotta really do, do just like this. Yeah, you gotta do a lot of run blocks, and then uh, if he does drill into Bomb Bag, you can Vapor Thrust that yeah. gap very easily and get a punish on it. Yami, though, taking his turn a little too early, getting opened up, yep. finds a big counter hit. Did kind of see uh, Yami go into that 2K into 2D, uh, going into the, the heavy uh, fireball as well. Yeah, which does not actually work on Fox. It does not work yeah, on Fox. You, yeah, you do need to, you can get a safe jump really easily from that same knockdown by just yep. not doing the fireball. Uh, I, I actually, sometimes I, I prefer just taking the, uh, Dear Cloud, the, the 2 and 4 S, yep. uh, just to keep that shock state up. But yeah. Elven Shadow, not deterred, gonna close out game one here. Yeah, interesting, we saw uh, we saw Yami, Yami do Stun Dipper. He had the meter to RC to keep that pressure in the corner, but we didn't see him RC at all. And uh, Elven Shadow going up the first game against uh, Yami. 
Drawing out the projectiles here. Yeah, Yami kind of blocking. Blocking more. Nice burst there. Get out of any pressure from Faust. I don't know how much Yami has, you know, had experience against this matchup, but... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing not a ton, mostly yeah. because he's trying to use the fireballs, and Faust in general just fights Kai's fireballs very well. Yeah. Really great grab Good block there. in the overhead. Yeah. yeah the exploding afro still looming. Elven Shadow moving on to match point. Yep. Match point here. I mean, like we said, I, I don't know how much Yami has fought against Faust, how much matchup knowledge he has, but it just seems like Elven Shadow is just putting his dominance in this matchup. Uh, especially just he's throwing out all these projectiles currently in his favor. Yeah, I, I mean, he knows. If you're going to yep. sit back and you're going to throw a stun edge at Faust, Elven Shadow is just going to zone you back by putting yep. out items. 100%. Yeah, but this is in Yami's favor. Really nice. Got the non-charged dust there. Go to the Foundry Arc. Going to do a little bit of wall break damage. Got the trail. Yeah, you don't have the frames for that off of a non-super knockdown. You nope. don't really have the frames for it even when you do spin the super. Yeah, even though he does have burst here. Going to burst out. That's going to punish. No, good PRC to stay oh, safe, but wow. gets hit low. Yeah, that was really, really nice. Yami on his last legs here, but gets a good hit there. Wow, nice great hit. slash. Yeah. yeah. Still in this game, even though it is a uh, match point here from Elven Shadow. Yeah, Yami, Yami not going down easily, having yep. some good pushback. And he just caught, got a trade with the, the drill. Yep. Able to get some anti air started here. The really meteors, nice. though, are good opening. Oh, and got hit the by overhead. the overhead. <laughs> that afro is right behind him as well. There it is. Oh, got hit by the Afro, but now it's gone. In yeah, but corner. also Kai is gone. Yeah, Kai's dead. Can he get the side switch? Oh, no! oh, no, no. He tried to get to the other side, but yeah, Ugh. able to close it That's out. That's going to be it. Yeah, just like really, really great knowledge there from Elven Shadow. Just knowing Man, if he would have gotten uh, the side switch off that RC, that would have been too sick. It would have been sick. I think <laughs> in the air, you might have to down RC. I forget which one. Like, down RC when you're on the ground pops them up higher so oh, you can okay. side switch. Like fast RC in the uh, air? Or? No, 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 no. Like, different directions plus oh, RC will okay. do a different pop-up. Yeah. Uh, on the ground, down, down RC lets you side switch oh, more frequently because okay. it will pop them higher. Okay. But I don't know if in the air if you need to up RC or if you also down RC to accomplish oh, the same okay. thing. Okay. I know that when you're drifting, you're going to drift downwards to get to the ground faster, mm -hmm. which might let you, you know, get that side switch there. But anyways, that's going to see Elven Shadow moving on to our loser's quarters. Yep. Elven Shadow kind of making his uh, his way through a uh, loser's bracket here. Yeah, gonna have to go up against Zack in a Box next. Mm -hmm. I think up next though, we're gonna have T Swag and Mom. Mm -hmm. Or no, actually, I see Zack finishing up in Street Fighter there. So Zack uh, probably coming over here. He gets Elven Shadow. Elven Shadow made his way over to the plus R setup. You know, still loving Guilt Gear. Uh, any way he can, but yeah, coming back on the setup against Zack in the box. Uh, so we're going to see Leo versus Faust. Um, interesting, interesting uh, loser's quarter final here. Um, loser's semifinal, excuse me. Uh, quarters, yeah, we're not quarters, even to the. Yeah, quarters. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at something else. Yeah, Zach, there you go, scooching the chair back. Everyone, everyone was like, scooch hella to the <laughs> yeah. left. I don't know why. Man, I've seen so many of those uh, snack boxes tonight. It's really nice. Also, also, I feel nobody's done like complained about it, mm -hmm. uh, but I think that monitor up there is on top of a cable, and it's like precariously. Oh, my God. You, you, you can see it from here, right? Like, isn't it like? <laughs> like I don't know. Everyone's, how has nobody complained about that so far? <laughs> Good on my end. Let's go. Yeah, it's good on my end. Screw it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I, I did not notice that until literally <laughs> the moment you mentioned it. It might be because it's one of the tables where the, the the fold is in the middle, too. Oh, okay. Which are like, I had a really hard time when I was buying tables for the house. I had a really hard oh, time yeah. getting just the six foot tables that weren't <laughs> folded in the middle because I saw that happen here and I was like, eh. It, like tilts the monitor. Yeah, for, like, I had some to go to reason. the most bootleg Lowe's in the world. We're like, oh god, birds have broken into this one Lowe's by me, and <laughs> they're like one. opening the bird seed bags. So the ceiling is just birds fucking everywhere. <laughs> 
Anyways. Just like feeding the bird for no reason. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Back in a box for Elven Shadow. Loser's quarters. Nice, throwing out the projectile. Yeah, Elven Shadow kind of taking this life lead 100% over Zag. That's a big counter hit. Too far to get the conversion, but oh, able to get wow. something started, but great. nice reaction. Yeah, yeah, really great grab. Zach was late on the cross-up, so enough time to sneak that grab in. Got that second hit of the OTG there after the throw. Nice drill. Flop in the overhead. Yeah, Alvin Shadow being very patient, using the neutral jumps until he really has a spot to let the drill rip. He's yep. not going too far in too quickly. Overhead, though, oh, no, that's going to hurt. This really hurts. Going to use the burst here, throwing out the super. Still gonna take that afro. Has to watch out for the little homie. Okay, he's gone. He turned around. Yeah. Wow. Got the overhead. It after really that is too. your own man's. <laughs> it be your own man. Drill throwing out. Yeah. Gonna take this lead here. Mid screen. Nice. Yeah, wow. Oh, missed the just frame though. Doesn't get the, the yep. clean hit there. Good yeah, saw the wind up. Shadow went for the overhead, yeah. Well, buried the drill and he just bounced <laughs> off. <laughs> nice oh, punish with the knockdown. Yep. Oh, on the other side, yeah. Not ready for it. Push it the corner, front. corner, yeah. Good block on the overhead, but that's a guard break. YRC. It is. Zach backing off, trying to field the pop fly here. Oh my god, great block from Elven Shadow, but unfortunately, Zach getting the advantage here. Nice, one for the low. Oh, Shadow low on health for the items. He are... kicked him back. Oh, what an anti-air. And he got the trumpet at the same time, so. Or the bugle, whatever it is. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Your favorite brass <laughs> instrument yeah. is. The trombone. Yeah, first game here. Zach taking it over Elven Shadow. Kind of showing a little more experience here in the ma in the Faust matchup. And again, yeah, Zach. Nice. This time in his Oki. Throwing wake up. Block. Unfortunately, not blocking low enough. Good man grab. grab. Yeah, Afro gonna be in play. Gotta watch out for the overhead. Ooh, didn't block the overhead. Wake up DP. Wow, wow that he got the wall. Must break. have been what? bleeding in the background. Oh my god. Apparently he got enough hits for that to be a wall break. Nice drill counter hit PRC. Ooh. Oh no, no block in the overhead. Gonna burst out just for his troubles. Keeping him in there for all those. Yeah. <laughs> Keep him in that range for all the projectiles to hit. Elven Shadow taking the first game here in the second uh, and first really round like here in the second game. Elven Shadow's shown that consistently that after he bursts, if he has meter, he immediately does item super. Yep. Just to shut down the neutral. Make mm -hmm. sure they can't come back in after the burst. Oh yeah, just to stuff any approach that you're doing against uh, a foul here. Gotta watch nice. out for the bomb. Bomb a little too out of range. Float it out. Throwing out the projectile, yeah. Nice. Projectile here from Zach. Is Zach kind of taking his time? He does have the life lead. Trying to see any way he can approach, pushing Elven Shadow toward the corner. Nice. Good blocks by Elven Shadow yeah, really here. Nice Content blocks. to wait it out. There's the grab. Oh, there's the grab. Zach fighting his way out. Trying to get the round here. Elven Shadow able to get out of the corner, unfortunately getting caught by Zack in the box. Nice drill. I don't Good reaction to the item yeah, toss, really but nice. again, yeah. This is maybe still just Zack getting used to the character. I feel like most of the times he's been put in trouble in the set has actually been just mistiming his Oki slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, great float over the projectile. Elven Shadow keeping Zach in the corner. You're trying his best to get the game. Nice blocks from Elven Shadow. Not on the cross up though, and not on the overhead either. And again, yep. there's the burst item. Super, a lot of bombs. Look at all the bombs here. And Zach forced to spend all his meter on FD. Yeah, that's that fireball not going full screen either. Zack in trouble here. Yeah, Zack in big trouble here. Elven Shadow trying his best to keep himself alive. That's a punish. Oh. No, not a big punish either. Great throw bait. Oh, he just got hit by the homies. Still has burst too. Oh, no. Nice anti-air with the 2K. Zack not out of it yet, but this is going to be very hard. Is he going to wire C here? Yes, he is. 
Oh no, great blocks from Zach! Oh, the great jumping from Elven Shadow, getting the second game, keeping himself alive any way he can. Wow, wow, wow. Dual one. Just some of the best fighting back from Elven Shadow I've seen, especially in this matchup against Leo. Running out the projectiles, really nice. Wake up DP hitting again in favor of Zag in the box. Oh, got clipped by the overhead, but Elven Shadow didn't believe in the overhead and tossed an item. Yep. Great blocks from Elven Shadow. Gets himself out of the corner. Nice anti air. Nice blocks again, DRC. Oh, wow. Did he like not block cross up or. DRC again. Nice block in the overheads. Throwing out the fire, <laughs> pointing out the projectiles again. Yeah, ended up on the other side yep. in the chaos. Good block in the overhead. Nice. Zach runs up, gets the throw. Yeah, no throw break. Gold burst, definitely in favor. Got one. What kind of meter up over Zach and Baku does have burst. That's gonna be Zach, it. Yep. Moving on to match point here. What kind of adjustments Elven Shadow can make? Oh, nice air to air there. Counter pushing him toward the corner. Throwing out some projectiles once again. Oh, yeah, too much block stun because he blocks in the air. Counter hit, no follow up after that. Throwing out again. Wow. <laughs> wow, there. Nice. nice. 6B. Yep. Drill again, canceling into it. No punish there from Zach. Oh, this is unfortunate for Elven yeah, Shadow. Yeah, sucks. Ah, no throw break there from Elven Shadow. Oh, this oh, hurts. Oh, does spin the super though. Yeah, really interesting. Oh, it what an anti-air. First, yep. First into super, throwing back the bombs. Zach in a good spot, but he's got to be careful not to overextend. Yep. Elven Shadow doesn't really have anything to work with other than the items, so he just has to not run yeah. into random you items. You see Zach kind of pushing forward a little bit, trying to close out and the game. And there's the anti-air. Yeah, there it is, an anti-air there. Zach taking it over Elven Shadow, got the great anti-air mid-screen, and uh, that's going to be it for Elven Shadow's run and loser's bracket. Still a very, very good run at that. Yes, going home in fifth place tonight. Yep. And that's going to move us to our next loser's quarter. It's going to be T-Swag coming back up against Mom. Nice, yeah. See, uh, T-Swag been running Geo for a good amount of this bracket. Um, I guess Mop. Uh, some great stuff earlier tonight. And, uh, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be another uh, really good match. Yeah, this top eight has been awesome so far. I'm going to steal my drink a little bit. <laughs> Players getting into position here. Going to see Milia against Giovanna. Woo. Some great, great top eight matches here for some Chicago locals. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty awesome. I feel like people are pretty playing pretty heads up yep. today. A lot of awareness. Uh, I, I had been out for three weeks. I've been too busy. Uh, you know, we had the week off with Roundhouse, and we then did. I just had too much stuff going on the, the week sandwiching it. So <laughs> yeah. a lot of people have been grinding while I was yeah. gone, seeing new names. Uh, I was catching up on the results of the last several weeks today and yep. seeing a lot of different names populating these top eights. Oh, yeah. You know, you always expect Macho to play Bleeding Lotus as well, yeah. Zach in the box. But, you know, Mob coming out, T-Swag coming out. Uh, Yami coming out, you know, Elvin Chow to UCL lot, but yeah, uh, like you said, getting into this matchup, uh, Geo versus Milia. Uh, T-Swag, of course, playing this Giovanna we've seen a lot in this, uh, nice 6P, yeah. Nice. And T-Swag is gonna level one to some things to see if you know how to stop it before yep. he cuts it out. Uh, 100%. like the 5K nice. pressure and the spiral arrow there. Yeah, Mop going with that burst. Even and though both of these characters, one of the strongest parts about both of them, they both have, which is the ability to create a cross-up mix-up 
from like relatively far away. Yeah. You have to hold, you know, some sort of incoming air mix up. And that right there, that 5k into grab is one of those ones Ooh. where like it's only real if you try to mash out of it. it yeah. You know, like she doesn't have the frames to do that grab really, but if you try to mash you're not gonna get the button out before the two frame grab comes yeah, out. Yeah, you're just gonna get counter hit and that's gonna deal a lot of damage, of course. Um, but T Swag, yeah, putting on a, a bit of a show here against Mops, the uh, Milia. Yeah, he likes that setup too the fake safe jump into oh, the grab. Yeah, man. looping it. Just like you called it there, yeah, able to close that first game out. And that is a setup that's, uh, you know, you gotta spend some time to figure those out because there are nine frames of throw protection on yeah. wake up in this game. Like, yeah. you can't just go for a throw on someone's wake up. One of the ways to do that is masking it with a fake safe jump so that they're expecting block stun. Mm -hmm. Oh, TK Bad Moon, yeah, Mop putting T Swag in the corner. Gonna do a little bit of damage, but not too much. Wow, T Swag showing some great defensive options here. Yeah, able to get out of the corner and took the burst with him. Yeah, has a burst, has a life lead too. This is gonna do yeah, a lot. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Look, damage, yeah. Wow, he got the. He got the oh yeah, yeah. The she, wall she break as well. Easily gets the wall. He could have done an air route that would have gotten like more wall damage as well. Oh Both of these gosh. characters are actually very good at breaking the wall off of almost any <laughs> RC. Yeah, from like mid screen too. Yeah. Well, keep in mind that yeah, wall that damage works. also calculates. Like, mid-screen, just because they're not at the wall doesn't mean that the attacks against them in the combo are not counting towards the wall damage. Yeah. So if you have a long combo going and you get them to the wall, it'll just break right away. Yeah. For sure. And, I mean, T's like kind of, like, super dominant in this matchup. Mob got a nice hit there. And nice combo into this. Yeah, pushing T's like trying to get him to the horse the corner. Nice throw here. Set up. Oh, just does the entire DP out of it? That... I can see that being real against uh, heavy ring setups. That makes sense. Yeah, kind of IAD there into the cross up. Great the back throw in the corner. Nice. Plus frames. Yep. Good use of the FD. Mop able to get out of the pressure. Finds the side switch with the teleport. Oh, what a block. Oh, that one works in with the whip grab. Has to spend the burst. Yeah, backing up here, trying not to get hit by the ring. Yeah, and Mop, this is his tournament life right now. It is it match is, point yeah. for T-Swag. He's fighting for his life right now. Great block, yeah. Yeah, a little more the cross yep. up as well. Gotta spend that meter too. T-Swag has the burst. Oh no, interrupt anything for Mob. This is gonna be it. And there yes. it is, the meaty to that seal it. That is gonna be it, wow. That was a... That was a fast set. That Jesus. was very, very fast. Yeah, I feel like I sat down, saw T-Swag go through the motions, get that win in loser's bracket, and uh, unfortunately, that's going to be it for Mop. Great showing there from his Milia, but unfortunately losing to uh, T-Swag, who's going to move on in the bracket and going to face Zack in the box, which is a, a match I'm definitely looking forward to, 100%. Yeah, up first, though, we're going to have a winner's finals where, you know, half of the winner's finals, I think, not really any surprise. We would expect Macho to be sitting yep. in the spot that he is, but Blooming Lotus on the other side. I mean, this is someone yeah. that last I knew was not even really playing Strive that much, <laughs> yeah. but he is a good enough player that he can kind of do that stuff, right? Yeah. He, he's just yeah. got good fundamentals. He can not practice a game a ton, show up and play well. Yeah. Uh, it's not outlandish. He's done it before another. Mm -hmm. He got second in BB Tag at Roundhouse, and I know for <laughs> sure he had not really been practicing BB Tag. Yeah. Like. I was talking to him earlier. He was playing like Lily in Tekken. Yeah. And he was doing all right in Tekken. I was like, why are you playing Lily? He was like, oh, she's fun. I was like, okay. And uh, yeah, just showing his dominance in multiple games, like you said, and sitting uh, really not too bad in winner's finals here. Uh, going up against Macho, of course, our, uh, our resident Zato, who is still sticking with the character. And also, not just sticking with the character, but I feel like Macho is sticking with Strive right now, right? He yeah. didn't go, he, he, he was playing Melty a, bl a bit, but he didn't yep. go like full ham on Melty, right? Yeah, he, yeah. He's definitely been really sticking it out, trying to and do as well as he can at Strive, and the results are definitely paying off.
Oh, yeah. I mean, we Or they would is... if NA had any good Zottos, but I heard <laughs> yeah. they don't. I heard, I heard, I heard from, we don't. Yeah, I heard there's no, unfortunately, no Zottos in North America. Uh, so uh, Macho yeah. going to have to take a trip somewhere else, yeah. I guess. Going to show himself as the Macho, uh, the, uh, the Zotto in North America. But, yeah, you know, Macho played uh, Soul Calibur, also played uh, Uni, a lot of Uni. Also known for uh, Marvel Infinite, if, yep. I, if I remember correctly, I believe yep. he won one of the Evo side tournaments in MBCI. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, showing his dominance in Guilty Gear as well, and like you said, sticking with this game, sticking with Otto, and going up against Blooming Lotus, who is, of course, playing Milia Rage. Our last Milia in this bracket, I think, right? I think so. After Mob. Uh, there's always more. Yeah, there's always there's more. There's anything that I've learned <laughs> playing this game here, there's always <laughs> another Milia. She got buffed. She definitely You're going to think that, and then whoever makes Losers Finals is going to rip off the mask and be like, ha-ha! It's going to be Sim, and he's going to pick Milia. I'm the Milia player all along. <laughs> yeah, for now, we got Blooming Lotus playing that Milia against Macho, who is playing Zato, of course. Uh, nice. Put him in the corner. Yeah, that mix up again. Great FD for Macho there. Yeah, got out of the space. He actually FD'd enough to make the 2D for Milia whiff, but he, I think wasn't expecting it, wasn't ready to punish. Yep. Nice. Uh, yeah, Macho put him towards the corner. Fire. Gold burst. Okay, this yep. is rough. Yeah, Amorphous right away. Yeah. Not going to block that. Yep. I think that traded. Yeah. Oh, did you press a button there? I think he. It just, uh, hair card just traded through the Amorphous, but okay. Amelia just didn't have enough life to survive. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, the reverse frog. Oh, no, this is not good for Blooming Lotus at all. Great block in the overhead, though. Going low. Really nice. Wow, yeah, we see Blooming Lotus had some great defense here. And Blooming but, Lotus yeah. clutching that burst. Oh, my God. You, oh my you may God. take my life, but you will not take my burst, sir. Oh, I did not think that that wall break was gonna kill, but unfortunately it did. Wow! All right, we might be seeing an Eno like here. Eno. Yes, yep, we there are. There it is. <laughs> we just heard a uh, a very he yell. Yeah, Eno. he picked the wrong color. <laughs> picked the wrong color. I think it was like blue Eno. I think he picked or something. But uh, yeah, wow! What a Quick first game here. This is wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. Nope. This is Max Gamer. Exactly what yeah. I think of when I think of Blooming Lotus. I think <laughs> PS4 Gamer. Yeah. He's gonna have to deal with this color. <laughs> Did not want this. Oh no! Great command. Well, there you grab. go. Yeah, cover it up with the command grab. You won't even know she's there. Yep. Got his way out of the BRC, corner. Nice BRC, nice 5P and yeah. the conversion because of the slowdown. Oh, nice, just gonna go with the super follow up there for the wall break. Wow, wow, wow. Nice. Yeah, Blooming Lotus keeping his pace. Nice, getting into the corner. Oh, the gold burst is gonna hit. Yeah, using the Amorphous to kill time to get the Eddie meter yep. back. Nice. Doesn't want to be stucking us. Uh oh. Wow. Yeah, you gotta burst that one. Yep. Oh, the note went out of screen there. Good block in the block overhead. In the overhead yep. But the command grab. Yeah, the command grab again. This is like the second time we've seen Macho use this command grab. Yeah, the opposed eating the cross up there, able to get the five B, and then the. The the marble style triangle jump into the command grab. Yeah, it's like a little bit of fastball into the command grab. Looney Lotus trying to fight his way out here. Nice setup there. Time for the grab. Oh yeah, that's tough. I, I think that this is probably the round. If you're in Blooming Lowe's, uh, his position right there, you gotta bait that YRC. Yeah, especially after that jab interruption from the air to air. Yeah, unfortunately, that's it. I think he might have gotten chipped out there, too. Uh, but Macho going up two games here. It is a three out of five. Uh, Macho has to win three games to move on to grand finals. Yeah, as you can see there, too, in the head-to-head, -head, these two have not played in Strive and Tournament, at least not here at FGC Meetup so far. So. Yeah, this is a match we don't see too often. Nice good blocks, blocks there. And the punish, wow. yeah, great defense by Blooming Lotus here. 
Yeah, early burst here, had the life lead. Had the round lead as well. Definitely can use that burst in his favor. Even Lotus just fighting his way out. Oh no. Bad burst going into the super. On the other side. Wow, great mix up there with Monzo. Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> One round away from moving into grand finals here. That was Good so patience. <laughs> yeah, great patience there. Going out the note. I feel like Blooming Lotus is doing a good job of defending when he's yeah. put into block stun, but he's getting put into block stun more than once per round, which uh, is yeah, basically yeah. an automatic loss against Otto. <laughs> yeah. He's getting put into blocks in every single round that we've seen him play. Nice, keeping this corner pressure going though. Gets the wall break too. Good, yeah, uses the yep. air super. Gotta Gonna secure it. the Gotta frame advantage it. here. Yeah, maybe Stroh? Oh. Yeah, Macho trying to mount the The command grab was here. too early and the double overhead. Yep. Blooming Lotus has a round up. Yep. Still match point for Macho, but Blooming Lotus has some momentum. Right. Yeah, kind of taking the block there. Blocking, yeah, FD is going to get grabbed for Blooming Lotus' favor here. Jumping back, does not want to deal with all of this pressure, especially from mid-screen. Oh, nice! Yeah, this is going to be great advantage! Oh, we did. What? Uh-oh, that's oh, a party no. starter. This oh, no, but actually he fell out of it. Didn't have the Eddie meter to Another finish the entire thing. Another counter hit, though. He held on to the meter. I'm curious he if he'll BRC. Yeah. No, he's going to Amorphous. Win the neutral. I set up Amogus. Oh my god, what an air grab. Moving Lotus, trying to stay alive. That's going to oh, do right when the burst came back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not in time to use it. It's going to be 3 0 against Blooming Lotus sent into Lucy's bracket. Still not out just yet, but on the other hand, Macho sitting very comfortably in grand finals for our Guilty Gear Strive brackets. And up next, we have Zack in the Box versus T Swag in a Leo versus Geo matchup. Uh, have we seen this tonight? I don't think we have. No. Tough one for me. Two of my friends here. Yeah, yeah. So my good buddies gotta watch him duke it out. I know both of these guys, you know, gotta watch him duke it out at the same time. And then sit here like I would have bodied both of them. Yeah. <laughs> if I was in the Let track. me bet, you're lucky there's no buybacks. <laughs> you're lucky it's not poker and we can't put another 10 bucks to get back in the bracket. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Uh. Well, with the Kai players on commentary, we are uh, taking it match by match. And of course, we have our loser semi match. Uh, Zach of the Box versus T Swag. Winner of this is going up against Blooming Lotus, who is sitting uh, kind of comfortably in Losers Finals, who just played a very, very grueling matchup against Macho here. Um, but yeah, like I said, gonna see Leo versus Geo. A uh, little bit of a interesting matchup that we have not seen in this bracket so far. Yes, upcoming matches. I really like that. Duel one. Let's rock. Nice. Okay, no punish there. On the other side, no block from Zach in the box. Getting the first hit here. Backing off. T Swag is gonna eat that fireball here. Pushing Zach toward the corner, but the whiff grab in Zach in the box's favor. Blocked here. Yep. Plus frames. Oh, great back dash out of the DP. No big punish there from C Swag though. Pushing Zach towards the corner. Oh, nice looking for the up. flash kick, yeah. Yep. Caught with the cross up though. out of that. Yeah, great block from T Swag. Wow. Ooh, great DP. reaction, yeah. Nice grab in the corner. Zach still has burst in that range just to get that last hit there for that first round. What a really, really great start for this match. Backing off again, getting a counter hit, just getting one hit follow up there. It's green, Zach kind of air dashing back. 
A oh, little bit late no on the punish, punish, but that's fine. Him. Yeah, I mean, his 2D saves, so whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not? Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no blocking the overhead. No big follow up from Zach, though. Flexing himself nice check. The corner. Yeah, Runs into the 2 dog though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Got a little hub himself, but I mean, there's not a lot of recovery, so got away with it. Still got away with it, trying to get that punish out of the air. Big combo, getting himself out of the corner. Nice block in the cross up there from Zach. The follow up. Ah, great throw from T Swag. One round each here for both players. Nice air grab, no tech from Zach at all. Okay, keeping him short of the corner. Yeah, try to FD out there. Again, great throw, but it unfortunately throws him out of the corner. Trying to go for the cross up. Is that going to be blocked? Yes, it is. Big punish from Zach. No! No punish at all from oh, Zach. Oh, this is going to be a big counter hit. He has to burst. Yeah, has to. Yeah, has Try to, to stay in this game, burst. but the air grab. Going to seal game one. Wow, there were some really, really big points there from Zach. Just not capitalizing a lot of punishes there from. Uh, from T Swag kind of whiffing those buttons and whiffing those moves in neutral. And uh, T Swag going up one game over Zach. Nice counter hit. Gonna get a three piece. Nice on the other side, but Zach's gonna block it. Very nice. Great air throw from Zach, pushing T Swag towards the corner. And kind of, yeah, nice RC. Good block the cross up. Doesn't get there in time for the punish, but brain traps with the flash kick. Yeah, nice frame Risky trap. business here. Great back dash there from Zach. Still kind of got caught a little bit from C Swag's air approach. Nice. Oh, block on the burst too. No big, no big follow up here. C Swag towards the corner. Throughout the fireball. Oh no, oh, got so hit. jump in. Yeah, can't kill from this, but. Still has burst. Trying oh, the, the cross up. Get his burst. Oh, Whoa. they traded the air there. Good punish on the grab. Really good. Yeah, that's definitely something in the clutch you have to make sure that you're recognizing with grabs and getting yep. some sort of knockdown. You don't have to hit him for 80%, but at least get a knockdown. Yes, 100%. Zach putting it in his favor. One round up over T Swag, who has the game up over Zach. Zach pushing T Swag toward the corner. Great PRC. Nice! Wow, gets a full conversion off that. Counter again. No follow up. Yeah, a little bit too high of the ground. Was trying to get the combo on the landing after the wall stick. Yep. This is going to be a wall break. Yeah, going to spend the meter here. Has the life lead. Oh! oh my God. God. Yikes! <laughs> just ran up, tossed it. That was you know, it's easy. because of the dash momentum, the way she's still moving forward kind of masks yeah. the fact that she's charging dust. So by the <laughs> yeah. time she gets, like, by the time she's actually in your face and you can see the orange, T Swag with the extra cheat using the orange Geo. Yep. So it's like even harder to see the dust circle, and all of a sudden it's just already active in your face. Oh yeah, and I mean, even as we were talking here, Zach kind of making the adjustment, nearly getting a perfect here, has that positive meter bonus. Pushing again, yeah, T-Swag able to get out of the corner. Great block from Zach here, yeah, nice wire C. He just runs up for the grab. Yep. No OTG, gets oh. the gold burst out. Did punish there on the gold burst. This is plus. Oh, what a Honestly, great. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> All right. Zach in pretty good spot. Has yep. his burst, has his meter. Oh. Doesn't get there to punish it, but it's fine. He still has the burst. Yep. Yeah, okay. Is it here? Good blocks by T-Swag oh in the air. Oh my god, T-Swag showing once again. He's just so good at blocking. Zach trying to stay alive, and again, we're down to the scramble. The cross up, is not enough. No, not enough. He's going to get chipped out here. And yes, the chip is, is going to do it. That's going to be it. T-Swag moving on and loses bracket. Going to play against Blooming Lotus. Wow, what a match. Oh, my God. That was insane. And unfortunately, that's going to be it for Zach in the Box, who has uh, really been putting a lot of time into Leo. Uh, we saw a really, really great match there. But wow, T-Swag just really showing a lot of adjustments there in that matchup especially kind of throughout you know the first game and the second game just showing i was able to deal with a lot of zags kind of cross up you know 
uh, switching that stance as well. Um, able to finish yeah, it Yeah, I mean, the, that, that yeah. came down to a lot of it was just defending out while, while he made his offense work. Uh, yep. They were moving around a lot. They were having trouble yes. really pinning each other down. And in the situations where he lost those scrambles, he did a good job of just committing to the defense yep. and not overextending because you can't come back in a round if you're not alive. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, uh, yeah, we are actually going to see Eno versus uh, – T-Swag's Giovanna not going to go back to Milia, yeah, sticking it, with Eno. This is actually pretty common for Blooming Lotus, too. When he, when okay. he changes off of a character at a certain point in the tournament, he'll usually go ahead and stick with the character he changes to pretty yeah. often. Okay. Got onto the note. Counter hit there for Blooming Lotus. Set up with the note. Going low. Nice block from T-Swag. Again, we're seeing great defense from his end. Gonna use the first early in the round here. Going on the other side, but Blooming Lotus get the grab early here. Red RC. Again, nice throw, but throwing him out of the corner. Yeah, that's part of the danger of like doing it as kind of a bootleg safe jump. He was holding back while he did the throw just to block. Yep. Oh. Gets the burst out though. Super? No, just gonna go for uncharged DOS. Actually, I mean, has the meter, yeah. Oh, wow, he recovered in time from the whiff air super. Going to the second round here. Went below for the note setup. I, I really got to hand it to t -Swag. He has really, really great defensive options here, but... Yeah, get, <laughs> not this round, though. Getting opened up by the 17 <laughs> straight as overheads. As soon as I said that, yeah, he got <laughs> hit by... He knows the overheads. Oh no! Got hit again. Still able to get the first. Mega grab super. Yeah. Yep. Great gold burst. Oh my god! He got the gold burst. I mean, this is a long road, but oh, this is not impossible. Not impossible at all. He does have one meter. Both these players have one meter. Size T Swag just burning it there. Oh yeah, went for the low. Blooming Lotus taking that second round. One round each for these players here in Luigi's finals. Nice. Dashing in again, it got interrupted there. Lock on the overhead. Ooh, yeah. Swag getting pushed back into the corner, able to get the cross up to get out. Caught the back dash though. Punish. This is the scary part for both of these characters. Like nobody can back dash. They both have great <laughs> yeah. forward moving yeah, options exactly, to catch yeah. the back dash. Great block on the cross up there from Blooming Lotus. That was insane. Plus five, yeah, yep. gotta hold it. Gotta hold that. I think he tried to punish that after the no. But you throw in the corner again! Great block on the cross up! Again, got hit by the... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow, great defense into the back throw, yeah. yeah. Big turnaround in the oh, round. Oh yeah, he tried to get for the, the anti-air there. Got a block on the cross up. Why oh, just place. Yeah, so well. Kept it easy. T-Swag gonna take game one here. Showing some real good Giovanna knowledge here against Eno of all characters. He's like going up to that first. He just empty jumped into grab. Are you serious? Again, throwing him towards the corner. Didn't get the block on the low there. On the other side. Again, throwing him out. Not towards the corner though. Yeah, I think uh, t Swag kind of throws him out and tries to get the cross up on the other side just to kind of push him towards the corner. Oh, good use of the flip kick to get the plus frames there. And again, Giovanna, best grappler in the game for free. 100%, yeah. Better grappler than Potemkin by a long shot. No, you know, I only say that half jokingly because an important yeah, yeah. part of strike throw is making them hold still so that you can grab them. And Giovanna yeah. has very good tools for chasing backdashes so that you stop backdashing for catching jump outs. Wow. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh. Whoa, wow. Man. Not gonna see, wow, we're not gonna see Blooming Lotus there like burst at Ooh. all, and that's gonna be it. Game two, I, going to I swear strike. we were like talking to each other and that game just ended, like. I cannot believe that ended as fast as it did. Yeah, great recognition of the meter by T Swag as well, making yeah, really sure to nice. not, you know, accidentally do like a slash or whatever, yeah. you know, like 
maximizing the combo with the super into the wall break. Oh man, on the other side, but yeah, great burst from Bluey Lotus. Not able to handle a lot of this pressure from T-Swag. Great Good break, tag. yeah, great break there. Wow, that reach is so high up for that uncharged dust. Nope. And just caught the, again, that's what I was saying, right? It's just so hard to backdash away from this character. Yeah. Really from both of them, but... Oh my god, T-Swag with the just an insane round start. Oh no, yeah. Blooming Lotus did not delay, so if you neutral jump, the uh, dash up hard slash from Giovanna to punish it, you have to delay your button coming down. You can do it later yeah. than you would think, but if you do it too early, you're just gonna get anti-aired by the far slash. Yeah. The far slash does not extend very far upwards though, so you won't get anti-aired if you don't put a box down into it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, we see the mix up there from the approach. And there's the grab, that's gonna do it. Best wow. grappler in the game. T-Swag taking losers oh finals 3-0. Yeah, I just... What an incredible game there from t -Sly. Just approaching that matchup, knowing his character, know, knowing how to play against this matchup, showing a lot of kind of knowledge there against Blooming Lotus, who wasn't able to deal with the grabs as much as we yeah, and I think kind of t swag followed the number one rule of fighting games, which is if you're doing something that is working, you do not stop doing it until the opponent proves that they can make you. Yep. It doesn't matter how cheap it is. If someone's not teching throw, you throw them a hundred times. Throw them a like, hundred times. Yeah. It, it's just that that's the first rule. Make them stop the gate, the level one. Yeah. And Blooming Lotus was not able to get his feet, you know, firmly planted yeah, enough yeah, to do that. Yeah. yeah. But that's going to move us to our grand final. So uh, this has actually been the grand final before. Yep. Uh, Macho on the winner side, T Swag on the loser side. Uh, remind me how this uh, this matchup kind of handled before. I, I don't think I've seen it before, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, these two did play earlier in the bracket. Uh, Macho, the bracket. for the most part, uh, you know, kind of ran through it, but some of that was T Swag uh, not dealing with a pose very mm -hmm. well, running into a pose a few times instead of using the dash up grab to okay, zip through it. Because I mean, that's the answer really for a pose for most characters. If you're in that kind of mid screen range and you're not three quarters or further away, yeah. run up and grab him. He actually has a lot of recovery calling that a pose. Yeah. Uh, and especially with Giovanna, who we just saw in the last match, she can cover a ton of ground into a throw yes. really easily. She really can, especially with that like ground start, like jump into air throw. Really great options there from T-Swag. Even though he's approaching on this loser side against a player like Macho, we've seen him you know, adjust mid-match, especially against a player like Louis Lotus. And uh, going into this grand finals here, Macho putting on a lot of pressure. T-Swag bursting early in the round, especially with Macho having the life lead. Bring out Eddie. A lot there. Yeah, great counter hit over the air there. It's just not spelling well for T-Swag at all. Nice. Wow. I like that. No, I really like that because the worst case scenario is you're about to be punished anyway, so why not do a big starter? Yeah. T-Swag not blocking the over there, there from the dust. Getting wall broken and just one hit away from that round. Macho taking it one round over T Spike here. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah. And the oppose into the command grab, the cheapest yeah. of the cheap. Like you land one frame and he's able to get that command grab off. Of you. Not only that, but I, I mean, there's just not a lot to do because of oppose there. You have to basically hard read that you're gonna IED out of the corner, yep. which is a massive risk with his other options. And game one, going to Macho. Yeah, going to Macho. Yes, it is uh, It is me on the mic. I also like Guilty Gear Strive. Great game. And uh, we're seeing some great matchups here in top eight. Uh, T-Swag trying to deal with Macho any way he can. And that right there, he got the grab punish on the opposed call. Yes. That's able to start some offense, has the corner. Yeah, Macho trying to look for that FD, got grabbed. Yeah, grab yeah there's block. the burst. Yep. That was actually a relatively late burst by Macho's standards, waiting for the second sequence. Yeah. Nice, yeah, getting confused here. 
A little too far for the wall break. Does have the corner positioning. Great anti-air with the DP. Yeah, a little too far for a follow-up there, but wow, that crab going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, Zato, a relatively low health character. I also am not sure, but I think grabs might ignore one form of scaling. Maybe not guts. I'm not sure what they ignore, but I, they seem unscaled sometimes. Yeah, especially in this match. That, right there. So, like, he went in. The oppose came out, and he stopped and backed off. Where he, if he would have just kept going in, he could have snatched him. Yeah. Kind of -swag. Oh this is my. what we saw in the first set. This is what we saw out of Macho consistently oh, punishing the attempts at crossing yeah. up with the air grab. I and mean, we saw right there just the punish off the, the the burst. Just a wall break, big damage. Macho has a big life lead here. Even though he's down around, gets grabbed for T swag. Again, staggering to another throw. YRC, really nice. Just spend that meter. Has Eddie left? Yep, yeah, but Eddie got one. shot. I mean, yeah, this did. is okay. If you're T swag, this is great. No meter on Zato's side. And again, you just keep doing it. If it's working, you don't stop. And T-Swag yeah. gonna take a game, don't even stop. up the count here. 1-1, one, one. yeah, this is exactly what you want to see from a Guilty Gear Tribe Grand Final. And I like working in the more grabs because, I mean, Macho has made some absurd reads and punishes yeah. on defense tonight, but no matter how good you are, you can't look for everything. Yeah. Oh, gets the fully charged dust from the whiff burst there. That's a big chunk of damage just taken out from a burst. Yeah, Macho very consistent with those burst punishes. Yep. Oh, just caught the overhead off. right when she landed. Oh, yeah, quick round. Starting off this second, this like third game so, so well. Great backdash out of that kick from Giovanna. Nice new jump, went low. It, it, consistently, we've seen T Swag have some really, really good defense here. And as soon as I say that, it gets hit by the, the dust overhead. Get, yeah, gotta spend that burst. Yeah, gotta spend that meter. This is a good chunk here. Back dash in here. Yeah, coming out, Eddie. Yep. Wow. Uh, one yeah, round. Yeah, storming away. right back. Yep. And I mean, Macho with the winner's advantage and taking the first game, if they keep trading like this, not gonna be in T-Swag's favor. Yep. He does have to win this first three out of five to bring Macho to losers with him and then another to take the tournament. Mm -hmm. Macho though, if he wins this game, he is our champ for tonight. Well, the 5K pressure, oh yeah, I'm done. Oh we're done. God. We're mashing lights, let's go. <laughs> Meet you there. One, two, three yeah, for great the Yeah, great pressure, Macho. <laughs> yeah. The anti-air DP starter is a crazy starter for Geo. Yep. I was about to say, T-Swag had the life lead. Great burst there, just kind of get Macho off of his pace. Pushing him out towards the other side of the screen. Nice, again, kind of showing that swag. Oh, he um, went for the, I think he went for the big safe jump in the yeah. throw and Macho read it. Macho getting that wall break again. Wow, gets the super as well. Has a little bit of the life lead here in this court. Too far for the overhead and T-Swag able to get out of the corner. Oh, he got the red RC too. He needs this break. If he can get the splat, it's he dead. Does, and yes. he gets the round. Really, really nice. Showing he still has some gas left in the tank here. One round up over Macho. Two games over one over T-Swag. Yeah, that man. right there. Like, it, he just needs to go a little oh, harder. Yeah. <laughs> no block with the cross up there from Macho. Got on the other side of a pose, but wasn't ready to run up and punish. Yep. Air dashed out, yeah. Eddie in his favor. Yeah, you see T-Swag kind of dashing out of any Eddie pressure. From Macho. Oh, oh this is trouble. Man, this sucks. No, if you're if you're T-Swag, because he has the round advantage, this is a good spot to eat that gold burst. Yeah. And if you lose this round, you have the burst advantage. I mean you still have one bar, you still also have burst advantage, like you said. Pushing Macho towards the corner. Nice, gonna use that watch, that red RC. Going for the anti-air, did it again. Trying to get the anti-air, unfortunately not able to get it. Still has the burst advantage. Yeah, as long as he holds on to the burst, he's fine. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. So this like is said, yeah. this is T Swag's tournament life on the line, but does have the burst advantage. If he can get the first hit, he'll be in good shape, and this yes. is a good start. Gets nice the grab. 
Going for it again, it doesn't get punished for it. Macho not able to exit first. Yeah, that's gonna be it for burst there for G-Swag. Got a little bit of an even match here. No player has burst, no player has meter here. And you notice now that he's not going, I was about to say he's going yeah. less heavy on a pose because of the grabs. And then he used it and he got the 2H party starter. Oh, oh, oh he missed it. Oh, the oh frog! The frog from the background jumping in front the like the bodyguard. That not going to be in. Yeah, Yo, Mato, that frog was wow. like, Zato, no! I don't know. Macho is going to take it for our Guilty Gear Strive bracket. Once again, showing his dominance, showing his knowledge with Zato. And wow, what a way to close it out. Oh, my gosh. Great stuff from Macho, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. He yeah. is our winner for uh, Guilty Gear Strive. That's going to do it for tonight. So uh, again, we're here at FGC Meetups yep. at Ignite Skokie, as you can see. Got a nice big venue, got a full service bar. They got food. Uh, we're here every Friday. We run three official games. Oh, you can yeah. hit up Low Kick Esports on Twitter if you'd like to see the schedule for the yep. next several weeks. Uh, next week, I hope everyone tunes in for some Dragon Ball Fighters. Yes. I'm going to be excited for that. Yes. Uh, and with that, I want to say thanks to Jolly Phobic. You can hit him up on Twitter. You can follow myself, too, if you want to keep posted uh, what's up to date on the channel. And with that, I think we're going to get out of here. So anything yeah. you want to say before we go? No, nope, that's it. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to FGC Meetups here at... Uh Skokie, Illinois. Um, I really appreciate being able to commentate the last uh, top eight here for Guilty Gear Strive. Um, so yeah, uh, tune in next week. Come out next week. Please uh, tune in to some Dragon Ball. It'll be, uh, be a really fun time. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, have a good night. We'll check.